At the Democratic convention, we turn to Washington Post columnist Catherine Rumpel. Catherine, good morning. Good morning. So in 2008, and correct me if I'm wrong, Kane was on Obama's reported short list. And now we're seeing him finally getting the nod. What does he bring to the table? So you are correct that it, it, there's a little bit of symmetry here that Hillary Clinton was the runner-up for presidential nominee in 2008. Tim Kaine was the nominee or was the runner-up for VP candidate at the, at the time. And now we're seeing both of them on the ticket. Uh, what does he bring to the table? I would say that it, what this shows in any case is that the, the uh, Hillary campaign has decided that they need to tack more to the center. They're trying to pull over some of those potential crossover voters, maybe Rockefeller Republicans who are turned off by the Trump rhetoric. Um, and that they're looking more for a more moderate candidate, someone who can appeal to white suburban voters. Going into this convention, Hillary Clinton's biggest problem is the issue of trust. She gets very high negatives there, high negatives generally as well. What does she do in this convention to begin to turn that around? Well, I think that her choice of vice presidential pick is, is partially intended to address those concerns. You know, he seems like a very affable, avuncular, decent guy. He was a Catholic missionary. Um, in Honduras. So I think that association with him will help her. Um, beyond that, you know, this has been a struggle for her, her, basically her entire political career. And the best she can do is to stay on message, uh, to try to deflect questions about emails and various other things that are, are more sordid in her past, and, and talk about what she wants to do for the country. How does this affect the supporters of Bernie Sanders? Because that was the immediate question when Tim Kaine's name was released last night. You know, their reaction has not been so positive thus right. far, right? They're a little bit annoyed that uh, an Elizabeth Warren, let's say, or a Sherrod Brown, somebody who has more um, traditional progressive bona fides, was not on the ticket. Uh, and also, you might notice that Tim Kaine has been a little bit more supportive of deregulating Wall Street, which doesn't jive with one of the main issues that the Bernie supporters care about. So they're not so, so enthusiastic. And... Hillary does risk um, losing the opportunity to fire up the left wing of her base. All right, Catherine Rampell, it's going to be interesting. Another interesting week in <laughs> politics. It always is. It, yeah. it never ends. Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine sit down for their first joint interview this weekend with Scott Pelley. You can see it tomorrow night on 60 Minutes.